Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. And welcome to Infinity Skyblock, episode 50. Yay! Yay! Good grief, 50. 50! Wow. Where has the time gone? I tell you what. So. So. We have... Uh, added a few more auto crafting things to the system here. We did. Uh, we added an ME interface. We went, we added import and export buses. Yep. Because if, let me pull this up. Uh, inter, ME interface. Um, it's fairly easy to make. You just need the formation cores, which we already have, and the iron ingots and glass. So the uh, ME interface is very easy to make, which and, is really nice. And the export you bus, can, which I have, is iron. The formation core and a piston, and the import bus is an annihilation core, sticky piston, and two more pieces of iron. And because of that sticky piston, I shut down the birch tree farm and planted a bunch more rubber trees so that we could have more rubber for our for oh, our sticky pistons. Good choice. Although we have a bunch of green slime now, so we probably don't need a lot of it. Probably I not. hope anyway. But anyhow. Moving along the line here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. we we like for thermal foundation, and we were really getting tired of all of these ingots and everything being ex nihilo. We didn't like that, okay? So we decided to put up all these barrels, and that way, because if you put what you're wanting in the barrel, yep. and then put what you don't want, like ex nihilo copper, for instance, because there's a copper barrel, put ex nihilo copper into a barrel that has thermal foundation copper it will change the x nylo copper into thermal foundation copper hence right. i was looking in the system to see if we had any uh x nylo copper but our no. system is just so efficient i it changed it all it changes it all so what what happens here is the x nylo copper is goes into the export bus anytime it enters the system the export bus will immediately stick it into that barrel and that barrel will convert it into the thermal uh, foundation, right? Yes. Yeah. And then the import bus will import it back into the system. Exactly. Uh, which is the reason why you have both of these lines going down here. If you stand over here, you can literally you can see, see them both. You can literally see the line up. Yep. Um, explain those uh, channel lines. Uh, so each. Each one of the smart cables has a, a number of channels. The smart cables only have eight. The dense ones are 32. So if you look here, it says one of eight, two of eight, three of eight, and it keeps going all the way down until the end where it says eight of eight. That is, That means this smart cable is maxed out. It cannot do anything else. If you stuck something else on it, the entire cable would shut down. Yeah, which is bad. Yes. But it's a good thing that that's, this, that's all the barrels we needed. So exactly. It, so it worked out quite nicely. Yep. And how we got our two systems to work together. Yes. So in our logistics, our, in our remote orderer, we have the ability to order anything. Now, as you notice, most of our barrels are gone. Most of our, our, not our barrels, our storage drawers storage. are gone. So all of our iron and all of that is gone. But if I type in iron into my request thing, there's 4,000 iron in the system. And that's because you did something over there with that gold chest. No, what? that's because I did something over here with the ME interface. Uh, okay, well, yeah, all right. Well, I wanted you to start with the gold chest. So okay, start, so I'll start with the gold chest. Start with the gold chest. What happens with our system, since we got rid of a good amount of the logistics pipes, uh, we had to get rid of this guy because it had nowhere to go and the, the chest was building up. So I stuck an import bus on it and then put a smart cable going up. Although I probably could get rid of that dense cable there and do another smart cable. Um, but the, the dense cable then runs over to the big dense cable, which now makes this 17 of 32. Because it was 16 of 32 with those two eights. It's now 17 of 32. And that puts it into the system. So it imports everything from this chest that comes in from our system, from our resource gathering. And that's all of the uh, gravel, sand, gravel, sand, sand and, dust. and dust. Yes, anything that's sieved from gravel, sand, dust, packaged up, sent into this chest, and then there you go. Right. And then the ME interface allows you to be able to interact between 
mm-hmm. logistics pipes, and the AE system. And that is connected over here with a logistics pipe chassis Mark II. And inside it, and I don't have my thingy, um, is your basic standard setup, of which I've actually shown. It's got the polymorphic item sync and the provider module in it. And that's attached to the ME interface. Be- with that, be- or because of that, I should say, if I were to come over here and look in the system, and what was that thing that we only had one of? Yolorium. Yolorium. Ylo- okay, if I look in the system here, um, there's one Yolorium. Now pull it up on your request thing. Sure. If I type in Yolorium, the only thing I have is Yolorite or and then there's dandelion yellow and mystic yellow, which is not it. There's no Yolorium in here. But in my view, you can see that there is one Yolorium ingot in the AE system. In other words, what we've done is made the AE system act like a logistics here. act like a logistics pipe system. Let me pull let me okay. So put that in the system and I'm gonna pull up Yolorite real quick. Yolor. Yeah. Yolorium, not Yolorite. Yolorium. 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 There we go. So now it says there's 64 in the system for me. And even though you just put that in there. And if I refresh, it's gone because the system gone. exported it already. Right, because over here we have it exporting all of Yolorium with this supplier pipe. I have it on infinite, um, this supplier pipe. Uh, having it on infinite and putting a Yolorium ingot in there makes it to where all Yolorium goes into there. We don't need it anywhere else. So that's why I put it on infinite so that it would just pull it all here. But the leave one in a system is still recognized. So everything ends up being uh, one left in the system. I don't know. Although that's irritating whenever you, you know, want to pull a Tesseract and you don't want to make another one, but you know. That's the, the downside of logistics pipes leaving one in the system. Um, I don't anyway, think that'll work with that, this, though. I think because in this system, things that aren't stacking actually stack. Oh, that would be... I don't... I think that... Uh, oh, that would be the one. I don't have... Know if, I don't know of anything that doesn't... Oh, there you go. Uh, leather oh. tunic. Leather, leather tunics don't stack, so let's see. Leather... Yeah, the leather tunics are in there. So the the A system actually makes the uh, oh that's nice makes it work. Do stack, cool. Yep, that's very nice. So it makes the logistics pipe logistics system even better by having the A E system. That's true, definitely. All right, the other thing that I wanted to show was um, how we're dividing up our our uh, ME drives here. Uh-huh. This is just our preference. Um, in all of these drives right here in the center. Uh, every one of these only has three, five, or four of 63 in them. They are partitioned off. Nothing else can go in here. What this is, is aluminum, gold, ferrous, iron, lead. I knew I would rem- remember them all. Silver, shiny. Yeah. Uh, copper. Yeah. Copper and tin. There we go. And electrum. And then the last one bar and- has... Yes, bronze. electric, in-bar, and bronze bronze in it. Um, so that is all ingots of various sorts and sizes and shapes and colors. I did the blocks, the nuggets, and the ingots, which is cool. the reason why. And a couple of them have two different kinds of ingots. Um, I also put an ore in there, which is why it says four four of, three of, five of. And then that's because if there was an ore, if we had a real ore... Then I actually put the ore in there as well. We did not have a real ore of, for instance, aluminum. But I wanted to show how how to partition if you want to partition. Cool. So let me do that real quick. Okay. Uh, First of all, you need to make a cell workbench. Okay. How do you make a cell workbench? Uh, Uh, It's not S-E-E. Cell workbench. Pull that up. How do you do do that? Got it. It is uh, two pieces of wool, a calculation processor, a chest and five iron. Pretty easy to make. There you go, fabulous. The other thing that, that we have sitting right here is an ME chest, which I've already showed the ME terminal because you have to make an ME terminal to make a crafting terminal. You need your glass, um, pick which glass you want. You need iron, 
flux crystal and I've already shown the glass cable you need two emmy glass cables and then you need your wrench on that so that has to be made um, in a crafting thing no auto crafting on on emmy chest but correct seriously you only need one emmy chest because the only reason you use an emmy chest if you're actually doing a, a whole system the only reason for an emmy chest is exactly what I'm using it for um, and that is partitioning off so that you can be separated from your system I put the emmy the excuse me the 4k storage cell in the emmy chest and then I open it up and then I it's funny you can see things going through the system it comes in and out it's crazy so then I'm gonna do a food um, food one so what I do is just oh, no not move it around <laughs> don't rotate open it open it up pop everything in there oh there you go uh, excuse me I need to get in that white chest thank you silver chest Iron chest. Um, iron chest. There we go. I knew. Be, I knew it was one of those colors. All right. So I put everything in here, right? Yep. All right. So now I just. All right. Everything is in there. Yep. And there are. Uh, if this is sixty-three, then I don't know if that's sixty-three or not. It, it's like I don't know. I have no idea. Ah, forty-nine. There we go. Forty-nine of sixty-three things in here, right? Uh huh. Okay. Now, if I take that out. Now I bring it over here to the cell workbench. I pop it in here. It says there's 49 of 63 items. I have, as far as bytes used, 1702. Uh -huh. All right, now I need to come over here to this partition storage, click that, and all of your things in this drive, or in the storage cell, excuse me, are now placed in here. Now it okay. says partition included precise. Yes. Now, exactly. It says included precise partitioned. Now, yep. when I pull this out of here, okay, now walk this over here and put this in this. I'm going to set it over here in this new one. Okay. So, if I put that in there, remember it says 1702.49 of 63, right? Uh -huh. All right. Now, if I just come down here to this chest right here, which I have a bunch of potatoes and carrots and strawberries oh, all and all stuff. these things that were actually put in there I uh, want to make sure I don't click anything that is not in there all right there no, like I'm, I'm bacon now now I'm yeah and that's not in there so that's why I was doing it by hand now if I pop all of this stuff in here and I look into this now look it says 18 93 still 49 of 63 it means that all this stuff went into this drive yay i know so therefore i've got everything separated and that's really good to do in the in the food stuff because then you could take this food drive and take it over there and make yourself another make yourself a whole another whole separate unit yep and only view your food exactly um if you do a few a view drive but anyway there's cool. that's how you partition at least that's how we partition anyway you put put your drive in your emmy chest put whatever you want in there take it out of your emmy chest put it in your cell workbench click partition storage then pull it out and you're all partitioned you're all set up that's actually easier than it used to be yep so you have oh. one you have one more thing that you want to show yes we've been talking about the emmy system I wanted to change gears to Thumbcraft again, mm -hmm. but before I make the full transition You're to Thumbcraft, I want to make a quick comment. Um, I will admit, I have now, this Crusader Scorch wrench is cheated in. The reason it is, is because I stuck my stuff in here to make my ME controller, because I wanted to start making an ME Thumbcraft system. Uh -huh. So I stuck all my ME controller stuff in here, all the normal recipe, which I don't have up. Uh, so you were doing it manually. Yep, doing it manually. Like it says. Exactly. Let me just bring it up here. There we go. I put all of these items in there, stuck it in that table, pulled out the controller, and the wrench disappeared. Which means that the, this little tweak that they put on here for the Certus Quartz wrench only being manual... It means that somehow that workbench is looked at as an auto crafting. Apparently. 
And that's manual. That's not auto crafting. Nope, that was definitely manual. So that's I will wrong. admit, I cheated that back in because I felt cheated in the first yeah. place. Yeah, because that's wrong. I mean, if you'd have done it, because, you know, from auto crafting out, I said, hey, you, that's your fault. Yep. You know better. But that's manual crafting. So that's manual crafting. That, that's wrong that. I shouldn't that, lose it. You know, if there's something as hard to make as that, you really, in my opinion, you need to be specific. This is what you can and cannot do. Exactly. So, the thing I want to do, let's move into the thumb craft thing. The thing I'm wanting to make is the thumbic doll. A uh, what? A thumbic doll. Doll? Exactly. Okay. A thumbic doll. So, All if right. I come over here, I'm going to put in five pieces of clay, five bone meal. That's... Okay. There you we got, go. You got porcelain clay. Okay. There we go. It was acting a little weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot Perfect. to order. I forgot to order up. This is a good chance to use the system again here. I'm using the logistics ordering system, and I'm going to say I want one diamond. There we go. Um, I need that because I'm going to make. I need to make a normal pre pre uh, precious doll. I thought it was a porcelain doll, but apparently it's a precious doll. Precious doll. Okay. Uh, and that's that is using the if you go ahead and look into this in the arcane table there we go have you go in first if i place the porcelain clay like that and put that there there we oh, go precious doll there's the precious doll cool now i'm going to put the precious doll into my crucible system it wants eight lucrum eight precantatio and eight spiritus to make a thumbic doll which i happen to have lucrum Frankentatio and Spiritus. So let's put in the Lucrum. And then we'll put in the Frankentatio and the Spiritus. And then we'll be right back. Alright, so I I put the stuff in a little too quickly. I should let the Lucrum go all the way in. So what happened was the Frankentatio backed up the system. So little one, can you grab that please? Thank you. And now I'm going to put my Spiritus in. And there we go. Thank you. He's so helpful. So now I have my Thomic doll. Ta-da! Wow, that is so cool. Now the reason I want the Thomic doll is because I want to spawn something. I need oh. a peck. You need a peck. A peck. Okay. A peck, peck, peck. All right. Let me show what. Do that you have looks a safari like. ball? I do. This guy is a peck, and he will trade with you if you give him gold, which we might do, but not. Not right now. You left. Where are you going? I went upstairs. Well, okay. I'm outside. Where? Jeez, you just. What are you doing? You should follow me. What are you doing? Stick with me here. I'm. I'm. I'm Eat losing up. you. I'm losing you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna place a barrel here. Okay. Why? Because I'm gonna put a bucket of witch water into the barrel. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the precious doll into the bucket. In the barrel. In. In the. In the bear. It ain't working. Consult the book. Oh. Oh. Quick break. Be right back. Hey, where'd you go? Where are you? Here I am. You ran off and left me. I did. Oh. I had to go and make some quick, some, some thamium ingots and some nuggets. Um, because I needed a barrel. Okay. So, I have the wrong barrel. Okay. All right. So, to make the thamium barrel, you take your six thamium ingots and your one thamium, thamium nugget. Oh, you know what? This has probably got to be down in the arcane table. I'm just, I'm just batting a thousand today. I know, right? I'm batting five hundred. I don't know. I'm batting All right. zero. All right. We'll be back in a minute. We'll no, we're good. Down, we'll go downstairs and do this. Wee over here. So, in the table. Let's try this again. Hopefully, I have enough in my wand. And there we go. Yay. Am I wearing my clothes? Good. Thomium barrel. Thomium. Th I got the Zombie and barrel. There we go. <laughs> I got the table, so it kind of made it weird. I think it does. It gets wonky. All right. So now, why are we why are we taking this barrel upstairs? Because I need the witch water, and it's up here. 
Ah, okay, that makes sense. All right, let's try this again. So we'll place the thomium barrel next to the other one. We'll put the bucket of witch water in and thomic doll. Summoning. Ooh. Ooh. It's, we'll be back. It's doing stuff. All right, so it's a 90%, almost there, 95, and... Oof! Oh my gosh, look, Come it's here. back! Come here! Come here! No, stop running away! Oh, oh gosh, she's running away. Oh no, oh no! Come here! Come here! Come oh. here! Come here! Come here! Stop running away from me! You need to go hey. a little faster. Can I? Because what if... You... Oh. I can't golden lasso him, and I... Oh, I don't... Can you put him in a safari ball? Uh-oh. Uh, order some fence real fast. I, he's running too quick. Fence. He's running too fast. Oh my gosh, please don't jump off. Can you like There we go. Uh, oh my gosh. No, we have any more. We probably should block this side too. Yeah, I'll order more. <laughs> so I need to make a safari launcher, which I'll make that off camera. Uh, I need to make a safari net launcher. Oh wait, maybe I can make it now. Let me see. Uh, I need the orderer. Boop, 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 boop. And is that everything? No. The two plastic sheets, the two gunpowder, the redstone, the glowstone, and the thing in the bottom. Iron. I forgot iron. I forgot iron! How did I forget iron? Mm. Tell me! Tell me! I don't know. Mm. There we go. Two iron. Alright, and boop, and there we go. Mm. And now... Now I can't see him at all. Well, go fly. Mm. I can't fly, I'm... Oh! Okay, here I'll I'll take a fence down here. Mm. <gasps> ah! Oh! Can you move, please? God. Mm. Oh, he's gonna want to fight. He is really mad. Can you stand behind me, please? Mm. Oh, did I mess things up? He is like fuming. Missed. Ah, missed. Mm. This is not helping. Mm. Oh, I can't capture him. This will isn't he, good. Will he talk to you? Order some gold. Oh, I made him mad because I hit him. Here? I think I've messed up. We're gonna have to, you're gonna have to make another one, I think. Because I I mm. accidentally hit him and there wait a minute. Go. Does he like you now? Oh, okay, I think he might start liking you now. There's green particles going. An ender, a gold horse armor, and a potion of strength. That's what he gave you? Oops. Mm. That's what he gave me. Um, can you take that fence post that's inside there down? Sure. Without hitting him. Aha! That's mm. what I wanted. Woo! Ooh, and he gave me a gold block back. Sweet. Cool. Mm. There we go. So I got a silver wood sapling and a great wood sapling from him. That's one of the things I was wanting. Oh, wonderful. I was hoping to get some essence from him. Okay, that's it. I think he stole one of my items. I thought you were putting them all in the in the pouch. I was putting what I could in the pouch. Oh wow! But I there's a lot. The last time I trade with him, he he stole something out of my inventory, or I, he, he, it all fell out, and then he he he's done. All right, so there's more. Trade with me anymore. There's more spaces in there now. I took the drives out. 
<laughs> but we're done. That's all. I'm stuck in here for the rest of the game. Alrighty then. Um, I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator stuck in a cage. Thanks ever so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll, uh, I'll come visit you, Phoenix, okay? All I'm gonna right. Go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and fashion you in the rest of the way. All right, sounds good. I'll come and visit you. I'll just stay here with him. All right. Bye. See you all Ow. later. Don't get close. He Whoa. still doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to get you out of there? Uh, we'll figure I'll, it out. I'll go get your jetpack. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Well, let's just say goodbye. I just already did that. Oh, okay. Bye. See you Bye. all later. Bye. If you have any comments, leave any suggestions, leave the suggestions in the comments below. I messed it up. Thanks. Bye.